before i start this video i just want to tell you that i tried my best to make this as engaging as possible but it's not if this video has a high audience retention i promise you that i'll be happy or i might not even notice those are the only things i can promise the things that i'm going to show you in this video many of you might know i won't say many some of you might know and yeah it's it kind of going to be the basics of gd script but there are things that you have never seen maybe i don't know to me i think some of these things i have not seen before so they are all came all of them came from the godot documentation and yeah before i start i just want to tell you that you can make godot with godot many of you might know that but you may not just know how far you can take it okay so yeah i'm gonna start with making nodes in godot you can actually make nodes using classes so to make a class all you need to do is just to get a new script the script must not be attached to any node the script most likely isn't attached to any node but anyways you can just get the new scripts type in class name the name of the class you want to make and you can suppress it with a comma then you type in the path to the icon of the node you want so this is actually going to make a class and as i will call it it can also make a node i'll call it a node because it's actually a node and from there all you need to do is go back to your scene hit ctrl a search for the name of the class that you made so now when you search for it you're going to see the node and know that the node will be under where it extends if the class script extends something like a kinematic body 2d the node will be found as a child of the kinematic body 2d as you can see our icon is beside it there which is really cool and also know that the icon must not be an svg file it can be a png file or a jpeg file so you can instance the node but it will instance it as what you think it's instance as the parent class and we're going to remove the first script so we're going to remove the class script and make a new script for that node as you can see it extends kinematic body 2d so we're going to change that and it's going to extend my gd node so now the class the my gd node is a class that we just made and now it's extending from another script so what does actually this extend stuff mean it actually means everything that is typed in the class that the current script extends anything that is typed there can be gotten from the script that extends the class so essentially what i'm trying to say is right now my gd node is just like a class i mean nodes or things like collision object to the um, physics body to the and all those stuff they are all classes so now that we have made our own class called my gd node you can also type it in there or we can just type in the name of the script that contains that class so again essentially what i'm trying to say is if you use a function like move and slide from a kinematic body 2d the function is actually a function in the class of kinematic body 2d the only difference between the my gd node and kinematic body 2d right now is that kinematic body 2d we can't see the code for it because godot contributors or godot makers they make it so because i think it was made with c plus plus and all those c languages i don't really know them <laughs> can only see the documentation for it so this thing is actually useful for things like um gravity or some functions that maybe you want the player and the enemies to exhibit the same function rather than changing it in each script you can make a class and all of them will inherit that class and from there they can get the different variables like gravity and all the other function just know that if you want to make that type of class a custom class should extend the common node class of the nodes or its parents that is the two nodes have to be of the same type or should have a common parents type well there are some problems you can run into when using classes don't make the mistake of ever a class should extend its class for example if i have a class name like player and i want to extend player in that class it's going to loop infinitely which is going to crash godot as you can see and also just so you know if your class doesn't turn green it's all right if you reload godot or restart godot it will turn green and if you make any class that turns to a node its icon won't show immediately what you have to do is you have to reload godot and it should come out the way it is here now let's go into other stuff now this next one many of you will know this one which is the two statements or the two keyword so basically what the tool keyword does mostly done in plugins and shall i say only done in plugins 
is that it runs the code in the editor any code you put in that has a tool keyword runs in the editor and you must have to make it a plugin first so not just making any random script and just putting the tool keyword and stuff you actually have to make a plugin and i will do a tutorial on that later like very later video <laughs> in a very very later video because i don't really know about plugins and haven't did my feet in them i just know the basics so i am not legible to teach yet yeah but hopefully i'm gonna do a tutorial on that later on ever had a line of numbers that is too long yeah you can fix that now <laughs> all you need to do is just to put underscores between the numbers if you know that the numbers might look too confusing you can just put underscores between the numbers just to separate them a bit and godot is going to still take it as the normal integer that you know it's not going to shorten the integer or anything for some cases where you just want it to be more readable for you if you ask me it might be a pointless feature but it's still cool though so now let's go back to working with strings tab you can put backslash t that is for tabbing um it's kind of going to give a large amount of space between two words like that just like your normal tab on the keyboard it's going to give um an amount of space there which is really cool actually i won't lie everything you know you saw from this video was actually from the introduction to gd script in the godot documentation i'm actually doing a challenge i won't call it a challenge but i'm reading the entire godot documentation for some reason i don't know um it's not joblessness actually it's just that i want to get everything as it comes so yeah for those of you that are too lazy to read it i'm going to read it for you and come and make videos of it if you watch this video up to this moment i just want to tell you a special thank you because this video wasn't entertaining at all and i love you for watching to this extent you've added the percent to my audience retention there so do also smash subscribe if you want to see more videos thanks for watching see you guys next time also smash subscribe and goodbye